watched in gymnastics as there would be in basketball or football and things like that. Yes, it is, Mitzi. Competing brings out the best in men. It's just really something. And there are on a lot of attractive-looking boats in Michigan City, too. My mermaid comrades and I used to hold swimming races, but it got old in a hurry. swimsuit winner for this year, Andrea Wenzel. Andrea, thank you so much. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you very much. I have a couple of the runners-up who are willing to come on and have a few words with me. Please, I have a real great opportunity to visit with uh, actor Claude Akins. Claude, thank you so much for the time here. It's nice to be here. Oh, okay, Claude, let's talk a little bit about what brings you to LaPorte, Indiana for this well, charity. Well, I'm here for St. Anthony's Charity Golf Tournament to raise money for the prenatal and postnatal care. Interesting individuals. How'd everything go, Halloween, and the week leading up to it? It went great. The, the best day was the Saturday before Halloween, and we were swamped, totally swamped that day. All your money, clown. To me now. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, it's your medicine. No, no, no. Ah. There you go. A teaspoon a day keeps the doctor away. You summon for me, your royal deviless. On your knees before me, slave. Look, Anthony. I want you to purchase another city for me today. But Cleo, you own 20 cities already. And this is our brand new costume. It's really cute. We just got it this August. It would be a great casino girl. It could be a camera girl, a bellhop girl. Uh-oh. Ha, ha, ha. There you go, mouse. And she's been coming to Michigan City lately to be shown off. <laughs> Tony, let's hear a little bit about your new pride and joy. This is Thumper. She's six months. <laughs> uh huh. Well, actually, her name's Shaylee McKenzie May Zeiger. Uh huh. I am ready to let loose with this machine gun and destroy. <laughs> That's great. We all have our fantasies. The therapy does wonders for these people these days. Oh. This is the groovy girl costume. This is a great one with the shirt and pants here. The 70s are real popular again, especially with the year 2000, and I guess that's been a little ways away. One of my favorite costumes is the Renaissance Maiden. You'll find all kinds of costumes here at Costume World. Props as well to bring out your own personality for Halloween this year. Did you know that Halloween next to New Year's is the time when people have more parties? Here at Costume World, there's all kinds of decorations and things to make your yard and your house special. There's props for your favorite costume to really make your party a special treat. There's more than costumes here at Costume World. There's decorations, there's makeup. We'll even give you classes to show you how to put on your makeup the best way. If you take a little time to find your own personality, you'll find a costume that'll make a real hit this year. Good afternoon, Officer McGinty. Hello, Millie. T.E. Lawrence, 
otherwise known as Lawrence of Arabia, was a master at battles. She fought for better health conditions among battlefield hospitals for wounded soldiers in Europe. She trained other nurses and pioneered new techniques in aiding injured people, and Nightingale met with world leaders to seek funding for better medical practices, and she won the respect of thousands. Langtree referred to her visit at Langtree as unforgettable. Women had an impact on firearms in the Old West, and with shooting guns, no woman was better than Annie Oakley. Bill Landing back at Rio's New Year's Eve 1995, and look who I have with me. Father Time is with us now, and he's going to share his thoughts on 1995. Thank you so much, sir, for visiting with us. And tell me, what are your thoughts about this past year, 1995? Well, first, there were a few things that angered me this year. The O.J. Simpson trial aged me 40 years instead of one. Five, three, two, one. Fifty cents? Uh, <laughs> nice try! Uh, okay, all right. It's coming. It's coming. Oh! Oh! Well, uh, I play with the kids, and I can fetch just about anything. Okay, Richard Crow, right? right. Yes. Yeah. The, did you have to go to a, a haunted bowling alley? I no. heard back in the 80s that no. there was a haunted bowling alley. <laughs> Dr. Carl Malden, who is giving the commencement speech today at the university on May the 20th, and he is taking a few minutes to say hello with me. Mr. Malden, thank you so much for your time. A few minutes? Hello, how are you? It's even difficult to sometimes sit and fathom. What would you do with that amount of money for, for a year? <laughs> uh, I'm a kind of an outgoing person. I like to meet people. Uh, I like to work with people, and I like to serve people. I have thought several times about expanding and opening another store, but I'm still not sure right now. Basically three companies, but a lot of fun stuff, beachwear. Nice facilities, a nice setup, and I think you guys are going to fit in real comfortably here. A nice office space. we got Channel 27 with us tonight, guys, so uh, just keep it in mind. Hopefully we'll have some some calls so they'll get to see something. Afternoon shift is really quiet. Broadcast three at 500 block. Just copy the alley 500 block of century. Well, we'll get back in those units and see what we can dig up. Thank you, fellas. Guys, thanks a lot for the visit. We're going to hop back in the car with you, Greg, and see what's going on. Nick, thanks so much. Go down on your knees. Go down. Get your hands on top of your head. With me now is Corporal Ken Havlin. On the midnight shift, he's a supervisor and officer Michelle Wadelski is with Jackie Mellon and Kristen Van Alsting, the Purdue North Central cheerleaders. Don Varda is behind the camera now. The challenge has been made. The Panthers accept. This is the game the other team will soon regret. Ladies, you have your list? Yes, Santa. There you go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Great, are they having a bikini contest this year? You know what, I think they very well are having one. Ooh, watch out. I bet. You certainly are funny. It's easy when I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Tony Simmons, and this is Interesting Individuals with Bill Landing. We're here at the 1999 Jet Ski event. Tommy. Mr. Bevins? What? He's the principal. Mr. Eastman. He's the vice principal. This is Agent 33. She is a spy with crush. She uses her charms to kill other agents. She hasn't failed in four years. I'm just a little rusty, that's all it is. Well, how many cans of oil does it take? But I 
I did want you to do this. I know. We'll discuss it tonight. I'll be by at 7. Thanks. Bye-bye. We have the two top female players in the major and the two top male players. Oh, my gosh! Look! He's going under! <laughs> Get out of here. That trick wouldn't work in a B movie. You're the only person I know who wanted to go to Alaska, and when you got there, you complained because there wasn't any suntan lotion. Well, I still don't know why there wasn't. Well, what's the plan, Chief? If, you, if I put another one of your lousy plants there, where am I going to put all my gear this time? How about the garbage? Ladies, please, cease and desist. Oh, I'm on you, my cold, watch and chain love. That will conclude this edition of Interesting Individuals. Once again, I am Bill Landing. Join us for another show soon. I hope you have enjoyed this reminiscent look back on 20 years of programs on public access TV that I have had the opportunity to use. Again, a huge thank you to the many guests and people who have appeared on the programs, camera operators, employees, technicians, and friends who've worked with me to help bring quality programs to the area. Again, I'm Bill Landing. This is Interesting Individuals. Hey, as always, please join us again soon.